Welcome back to Honeybee's Hive. I'm Honeybee. So as you see, y'all see little Emma? See, you see how she's, oh, I don't like this right here. So I've been saying that I was gonna get in here and um, oh, unstiffen her. So I think that's what I'm gonna do today. So if you guys wanna hang out with me a bit, that's what I'll be doing. So I'm hanging out in the, um, the vintage doll room slash my work room. <laughs> and so I've been in here painting and just, oh, working up a storm. I've also been rooting. I got back to rooting my, my, um, uh, is it Ariana? I think it's Ariana. I think that's the one I got. And, um, yeah, we're getting there slowly but surely we're getting there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out by, um, there is a, it's sewn up right here. So I'm going to have to undo that. I could have got a, um, a seam ripper, but it's just like a few stitches there and yeah, it's pulled. And that was it. It's open. So I just clip the top of it and then pulled it out the bottom stitch out I pulled it from the bottom and the whole stitch came out so I didn't have to really do anything now I'm going to go in here and cut this I'm going to cut this zip tie and it's not going to and I see it's so tight oh my goodness there we go so whatever is in here has this is supposed to be bunched up a little bit and her neck the it's too much that's what it is but that is way too big for her and get your minds out the gutter so I wanted to get in here let's see what's in here okay let's see what's in little one oh that one's poking me so these, uh, not move all that great. Let's put these up here. Hmm. This, it is a bag of, um, oh, oh, glass beads glass beads. Oh, it was a nice size pack too. Okay, so we'll just put that back. I'm good with that. Mm, the limbs are not weighted. I'm okay with that. I just wanted to get that thing out so I can move her around a bit. Now I want to figure out why these things are so tight. This right here. Huh. I don't even know how to loosen those. I really don't. I don't know how this works. But they're just too tight, see? It moved a little bit. It's, it's a little much. Okay. The things are gonna get weird, okay? So I'm about to experiment. So we're going to put her head over here. I want you guys to get freaked out. And I'm going to just put this down here for the moment. And I want to see the legs. Same problem. Hmm. Hmm. Inside. I know what it looks like inside. It's not probably going to help me. Hmm. Oh, let's try some. So there are these. 
Okay, so there are these um, things in here, and they just have them on here too tight. So what I'm going to do is just pop these, it's not pop anything, but cut these things off in the inside, and that will give it some room to move around. I already cut one off. I know this is a bit much, but I want to keep the body, but I want more movement. And see, that gave me more movement. So, do the same thing over here. Don't think I need that, but. As I put this back off in here, I don't think I need that, but just in case. Hmm. Okay, I might need it. Well, darn. You're gonna mess with the other one so much. It just came all loose. There it goes. So I'm just gonna pull this out. I get it out so I can cut it. Now, I want to cut it. I said, I know this is a bit much, but I don't like that they're so tight. And I think it's just ridiculous. So, this is what I came up with today <laughs> to try to be able to keep my body and loosen up the limbs. So there it is. It's already looser. Not loose enough though. So I got to get into this other one here. I know, I'm always doing something, <laughs> but <laughs> I want to, uh, I want to keep the body. The body is actually fine. There's nothing wrong with it. It's brown, it goes with the skin, the skin tone of the baby, kind of, sort of. So, and it's soft. I don't, it smells good. I don't want to get rid of it. <laughs> and like I've been doing. So we gotta try to figure out ways that we can, you know, be more thrifty, right? All right. So let's try to salvage the dog, but adjust it to our liking. Now I am using just a regular old kitchen knife. That is my go-to for just about everything. <laughs> I use what I can find. I have tools. They're in a the garage. They're in my son's. I bought them for him. Um, some I, some he got. Um, but yeah, I don't need all that. I won't even know where to begin with all of that. There it is, right there. As you see, all I'm doing is, is pulling this this thing up, this little cushy thing. And let's move it a little. Oh, much better. Okay. I could do the legs too because they're stiff as a. So let's get into this. I'm gonna have to get a new diaper anyway, so let's figure this diaper thing. Uh, hmm. You know they still made these. This is cool. These are like old school diapers. Cool. 
Yes, it is. This is it's got elastic too though. In between the legs. It's got the sticky stuff. Cool. Yeah, yeah. And if you stuck this on this part right here by accident, when you go to take them off, <laughs> this pulls the stuff out of the diaper. It's terrible. Okay, so same thing. I am just grabbing this and cutting it at one end and then pulling it out on the other end. It's only like about two or three stitches and then pull it out that end. Like I'm in there. But yeah, I didn't know what else to do. I wanted to, I want to save the body. I honestly don't like these things because it makes the, the it makes it harder. But it's okay. I'm not going to mess when I'm just going around. Now, there it is. I see it. So that means I'm going to need some more. Oh, this one's way in there. I'm going to need some more zip ties, right? Man, I go through zip ties. I'm going to have to order some more. Or him. This is a headache. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a headache. But if you guys think of anything else besides having to um, switch out the whole entire body, I don't know how to take these things off. So If I did, I would have just done that. I'll have to Google it and see if there's a way to get them off. Without having to... There it goes. Like, see how tight it is? That's ridiculous. Oh, good and well, those limbs weren't going to move. And she was like, oh my goodness. Yes. Pull that out. Yeah, this is the way I'm doing it. It is a headache, so I have to try to figure out an easier way to do this. Oh gosh, I'm trying to pull that. They got this one way down off in there, or maybe I just because it's the legs, it's hard to get to. Maybe. I don't like this. This is annoying. <laughs> oh my goodness. How is it? It's like it's folded in or something. I don't know. But that's got to come out so she can move. I should have put on my scrubs and did the doctor thing. <laughs> yeah, I got it. I totally forgot. Oh well. This is after hours. I can't even get a grip on it. My goodness. Yeah, I can't even get a grip on that thing. I don't know. Huh. Can't get it. Okay, I don't know. We might not be able to. I got it that way. 
grab it this way. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Children don't do what I'm doing. <laughs> if I have any kids watching this, oh my God, do not do this. <laughs> Got it pulled up. Oh my goodness. That was terrible. We got some of it. Oh, I broke my thing. It broke. Oh, that thing snapped down on it. That's why. Okay. <laughs> There it goes. I don't order me another one of those. But I don't use that one too often, honestly. So I don't know if I will or won't order another one. There. Batter. God, now that's ridiculous. Well, since I didn't took her completely apart, I'm going to um, put some different stuffing in her. Let's get this leg out over here. I am going to use the same body. Let's see. I don't see it. I'm going to have to pull it out. Where's my trusty knife? Well, let's try. This one's smaller. Maybe this might work to pull it out. Hmm. Well, I'll just grip it and pull it. Maybe that will help. Well. Kinda, sorta. I don't know. I don't want to get an, a sharp knife. That might help, but also I might lose a, a nub, lose a digit. I don't really want to lose a digit. I kind of want to keep them very fond of my fingers. Oh, lordy. Yeah, this is all kinds of dangerous what I'm doing. So, don't do this. I don't know. You guys think of a better way to loosen them? I am. I do want to know. But I want to keep the body. I just don't want to. Thank goodness, this is the last one. What's the matter, wee wee? Mm. I think she's waiting for my son to come home. And I don't know if he's going to be home anytime soon. Okay. I think I'm just, I think I'm just going to go ahead and since I already got the limbs off right now, I'm going to go ahead and just um, fill the limbs with poly pellets. I'm already here at this point, <laughs> so <laughs> let's do that. Oh my goodness. Toss that down there. And... I'm pulling those out too. 
my son is home, so the dogs are going crazy. Of course. They're probably going to start barking. I had to hit pause because they were barking quite a bit a minute ago. This always happens when I'm doing a video. They'll be like so quiet all day long. And then as soon as I get ready to do a video, um, it's like they hear everything and want to bark at it. And it's basically, <laughs> it's really, I mean, sometimes, so I guess she's been waiting on him to come home. So she's been hearing a lot of, I think she's been hearing the neighbors because she's in my room. So, um, she probably hears that here she comes. Hey, wee wee. Yeah, she's she just came in here for a moment because she's waiting on my son. I think he's out there. I thought I heard the garage door. I don't know. Maybe we didn't. Yeah, I thought she was right this time too. <laughs> okay, so there is still more off in there and it's way, 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 way off in there. So we're gonna have to get the Hi Stank Stank. Hi Stank Stank. Oh, no, I see you. <laughs> I thought that was him too. I just knew you were right on with the money, on the money for that one. Let me get this. Oh. Okay, let's get. I don't know where my other one went to, so I'm gonna have to use this one. So my body is better now. I have the, um, put that down there. I have the, the joints, um, they're able to move better now. They're smoother. They're not so stiff. This has got to go. I don't like this one. Um, they didn't have the one I had wanted, so they gave me this one. Um, I don't know. Maybe I just got to get used to it. It's probably all. Okay, so it did work. I wasn't for sure. The last time I, I used it, I couldn't get it. worked. I get it out of this one. So now this one. I'm probably going to need this again because see all of this was at the tip and the down off in the hand. So it's hard to get when it curves like that. And this thing curves and bends and does all kinds of twisties. So We did. So we got everything with that one. Didn't have to use the weird drainer thingy that I don't like. I like my old one. I have to go look for my old one. Hmm. Now let's see. What do we need? Oh, polygon.
Definitely not. <laughs> Still dropped them. Somehow, my finger, one of these fingers, I cut it or, oh, my thumb, yeah. I don't know how I did that. I don't remember. I poked myself somehow on something. Unless it was the, well, it couldn't have been the, couldn't have been the needle when I was rooting. It doesn't leave that big of a, a scratch. Hmm. So, um, I did another video today, boxing, um, box up Steven. <laughs> Let's see what you there. I'm allowed to that what you there. <laughs> I boxed up Steven today. <laughs> the um the newborn Stevens that I have that I painted. And sorry. So this video will probably post before that one. That one will be coming up soon. Anyway, I was talking about that one. I remember I was trying to tell you about, I started reading these other books. So the books were called, um, Oh, I know what a midlife crisis. Yeah, midlife crisis. And I was like, I don't know how many books there are, but I think I'm on five. So the first book, I want to read them. Um, hang in there. Because <laughs> the first book, I was like, oh, she's annoying. <laughs> I was like, this is really starting to annoy me. I don't like this. <laughs> But I hung in there, not intentionally, I just didn't have anything else to read at the moment. And um, I was working, so I needed something to listen to while I work. And um, so I just let it play. And by about, I don't know, a couple of chapters in, it got good. And I was like, huh, it got interesting. And I started actually paying attention. And then I started really liking it. Yeah, I really liked it. It's different. It's very, very different. Um, it's supernatural. Because you guys know I like supernatural. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. So there is um, and there's crime but it's a different type of crime since these guys are all angelic or demons yes um, the crimes are like of the supernatural of them so 
you know, because I like my mysteries and my crime dramas and stuff like that. I don't like drama. I say crime, not drama. I don't like crime dramas. I like the, the mysteries, the suspense, my supernatural, stuff like that. See, now isn't that a cute body? There's no way I wanted to. I wanted to keep this one. So we are keeping it. So let's... I got... Oh, you know what? I did not put anything in the legs. I totally forgot about the legs. So let's put something in the legs. But anyway, the character... Um, it takes... The, the setting is the South. Um that part of South Bend. But, I don't know, some small town, whatever. Yeah, it's a small, because most of these books, they take place in small towns, the ones that I read. Um, because they're like, oh, supernatural stuff. So this one, um, so I know, and it's just, I mean, they just, I don't know, it's just the first one, I just was like, the beginning of it, I just was not feeling it. I was like, okay, this is annoying. What is this about? This is, I don't know if I'm going to be able to, <laughs> to keep listening to this. But, yeah, it ended up being pretty good. And I kept going. And the main character, she is a, she starts out a, um, a soul. What is she, a soul? What does she do? She, oh, soul counselor. Yeah, she's a soul counselor. So basically what that means is that um, the souls prior to going into the light or the darkness, having a hell or whatever you want to call it. Um, so far they've been calling it the light, lightness or the, um, the light or the darkness. That's what they've been calling it. They're in, I don't know, but if she doesn't want to say heaven or hell because she doesn't know if she believes in heaven or hell. Um, so she doesn't say heaven or hell. Um, and the other characters don't either. They all refer to it as the lightness or the darkness. The light or the darkness. So, okay, so now we got the limbs. Now we got the... We got the limbs taken care of. So I'm gonna get a little polyfill. I'm gonna put my polyfill in here. And I'm going to pop their beads back in here. And pop this. A little more of this in here. And but this time I'm not going to put that whatever that was they had in there. I'm not putting that in there. So anyway, back to my book. So um she finds out she so she has a few friends. She is a she works at a um uh, a law office. She's a um I don't know what she does. What what does she do? I forgot. But anyway, she works in a law office, and her best friend is going to school to be an attorney. She has to take the bar, I guess. Um, so, of course, she passes and everything, and then they all move to her, but she opens up her own business. But anyway, prior to all this happening, she her boss, their current boss, they don't like. They like... The one of the the partners, um, he's really nice. They like him, but they do not like the daughter, his daughter, who is their direct boss, their supervisor. I guess you can say. Um, so no, she's like they describe her as being the worst, and sure enough, she is. But yeah, there we go. That works perfectly. I don't want to have it too stuffed. So now I'm going to put something in here. I'm going to put this in here and keep it. And then I'm going to put the arms back on. Oh, goodness. So, um, so 
Well, anyway. So she... <laughs> Then they're they're getting a new attorney, right? Who's coming? <laughs> to make a long story short, the new attorney happens to be the Reaper, <laughs> but she doesn't know that at first. She finds out gradually, and she falls in love with the Reaper. <laughs> now they describe the Reaper as the same character that played on and Joe Black. I don't know if y'all remember Joe Black, but yeah. They describe him, um, and so when I in the description, I think of him, because I'm like, oh, okay, because that's how he was blonde, and uh, I said this guy is like really tall. He's like six feet, I don't think. Um, what's his name? Was like tall, but um, they, and then in, and then, <laughs> and then, uh, let me see. Oh, what was I at? Oh, yeah. It gets really good because I think in the first book, she finds out he's the Reaper. I think she finds out he's the Reaper. Uh, it's just so much. You keep going and keep going. You think you done um, found out everything. No, it just keeps going and keeps going and keep going until we have um, um, the Archangel Michael. We have um some dude named charles i forgot who charles is or charlie charlie is oh and they all and they all have like certain just titles and descriptions like our friend heather uh her heather turns out to be an angel too i don't remember what her name is an angel but she is actually an angel made from a petri dish <laughs> if you know what i mean <laughs> she was an experiment um so they have some angels like that that aren't angel angels, but they're angels because they were created. Um, then what else? I know I'm all over the place with this book, but <laughs> it's actually pretty good. Now I am in, like I said, I'm in book five, so I must be, I must like it. I'm still going. I'm still committed. Do I have all of them out? Yes. So... But yeah, like at first, I was not feeling it. It got, it's called Midlife Crisis. I don't know the title is what got my attention. I was like, oh, Midlife Crisis. That, hmm, let's see what that is. No, that it is. She turns 40, right? And that's the whole point. It's this year, she turns 40. So on her birthday, at the age of 40, she starts seeing ghosts. And I don't know, has she been seeing ghosts? I don't know if she's been seeing ghosts or what, but she finally starts communicating with the ghosts and everything. So at the age of 40, she finds out she's the soul, um, soul counselor. And her grandmother tells her this, and she's like, what? But her grandmother is already um, older in a nursing home and everything. And she's tired. You know, she's, she's just, she, she doesn't... She she was still doing it. She was a soul counselor before, but um, finally they thought that she was not. I don't know. They say they thought that it skipped her, but obviously it did not. But so they never did tell. So her grandmother never did tell her about it, and her mother had was had died. Um, that they knew of. She was a lot. No, she died. Um, from what their knowledge of her death is was a mystery until later on we find out what actually happened. But um yeah. There we go. And then there we go. So also <laughs> she has this quirky friends of hers out also co-workers but her best friend who is um um she has a book sh a book shop and she does she doesn't work at the law office so she thinks she's the only one that don't work at the at the law office the rest of them all work at the law office so they're co-workers and friends but um they're all really quirky <laughs> 
<laughs> so, uh, and then there's she has this one friend. I don't know where Candy came from. There's a one named Candy. I don't think Candy was a friend. I think Candy, I don't know where Candy came from. Um, I think that was part of the part that I wasn't paying attention. So I don't know where she came from. <laughs> But well, she's actually turned out to be one of my favorite characters. She's pretty foul. <laughs> she curses. She drops the f bomb. She is just, you know, <laughs> the opposite of <laughs> Southern hospitality. But she's an angel. She is. Oh, I was telling you about the titles. So they all have titles. So um, her friend, um, her friend um, Heather, who works at the law office, the one who. Um, passed the bar and is now an attorney and took all of them to go work for her at her law firm because um, she decided she wanted to open up her own law firm. So she is the arbitrator between um, heaven and hell. And let's see. This one's two. This one's cut that's trash so she is the she's an arbitrator between heaven and hell and then she finds out her boyfriend um that she's dating is actually um is that his name is Gideon and he is actually a um a reaper so of course she thinks of the reaper as the one who sends them into the darkness. But it's like opposite. He does not send anyone into the darkness. He actually sends them into the light. <laughs> then comes to find out their boss is the angel of mercy. And she sends people into the darkness. Now she's just crazy. She is all types of crazy. But yeah, it... it it's like they all have these personalities. They all are met up with each other one way or the other. And they do have powers, but they just kind of like live here, live in this small town. Like, you know, they're like everyone else. <laughs> so, and when she finds all this out, you know, because she's always thought she didn't know if the people, if she was really seeing ghosts or if she was just... She thought she you know having a midlife crisis. I was like, oh God, I'm going nuts. <laughs> but she was quite happy to find out that she was not going nuts and she was not. <laughs> well, her midlife crisis continues because all this stuff is happening and yeah, it's like a lot at the age of 40, okay? <laughs> all this stuff, brand new things happening. And everyone else, like in her family, had gotten their gift like way early on in their ages like when they were children but she no just happened to be like um age of 40 <laughs> and oh yeah and then also her husband had died too so she was oh and that's a that's a ticker too because he actually comes back because he dies but he comes back um because uh, he has unfinished business. So what happens is the souls, the, her, her job is to help the souls to complete whatever unfinished business they have so that they can go into the light or the darkness, wherever, you know, their life led them. So, um, her, 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 um, her husband... Her ex, her, her husband who passed away, um, comes back and he needs, he has unfinished business. So she can't possibly think of what his unfinished business is, but you know, they talk, come to find out. Cause if, by the way, you know, her and her husband had not had a relationship, a relationship, relationship, you know, like husband and wife have in like 20 years so come to find out that her husband is gay yep so that was what he needed to tell her 
And once he was able to tell her that, then he made a mission to make sure that she finds real love. Because he said he did love her and everything, but, you know, he was just, you know, they lived in this town, this southern town, and they were, you know, that was wrong. So he got married to a woman and blah, 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 blah. So, but anyway... They were best friends anyway, and they just continued to be best friends. Just not really husband and wife. <laughs> so, uh, that that's a hoop, and him trying to get her. Um, but the guy that she's dating, they become pretty good friends. Him and the Reaper. <laughs> He's like, the Reaper's a good guy. <laughs> so I think I want to put some more in there. So let's put more. More polyfill. And I don't know if I like this, this, this ring in her head. So I think I'm going to take it out. Oh. So I'll put that back. And I'll add some stiffer kind of here, just for giggles and kicks. Okay, there we go. Now, it's just really soft. Okay, so I'm thinking that that should do. I think, I think, I think. I'm not trying to put too much. Oh, yeah, I think that'd be better. Okay, I do like that better. Not too much there. Okay. Uh, and what else happened? Oh, what else I, I don't remember. So, but anyway, I mean, it seems like everyone that she's known is an angel. Um, yeah. And she's like, but come to find out, there's so much more to the story and everything. Because uh, come to find out that her mother was actually killed. They thought she had committed suicide, but she didn't. She was actually killed. Uh, she was murdered by an angel. Angel of mercy, go figure. So, um, and... She was married to the Archangel Michael. <laughs> so she is part angel. Yeah. Told you. Got all kinds of moving parts. It's just keep on coming. Uh-oh. I knew I was going to do that. I tightened it too tight. Oh, my gosh. I did not mean to do that. Um. I don't know what I was, I saw it happening, and then it just happened. And there was nothing I could do. Uh, there we go. Like this, and there, come on, here we go. And then this little one over here, I just need to, well, I was going to just, I was going to just loosen up his head because his limbs are fine, but I'm like, well, maybe I didn't did all this with her. I've got to do it with him too, right? Yeah. So let's see, right there. Yeah, right there is fine. So let's not make that any tighter. There we go. There we go. There she is. Oh, so much better, right? Look at that. She moves. Look at that. Her limbs. Look at that. Her limbs move. So good now. Oh, my goodness. Well, let's get her dressed. Let's get her on a diaper and get her dressed.
here we are. So I found something for her to wear. So let's get her into a diaper first. So Mika is here. She just joined us. Hi, Nene. this it's zero to six months that's big these are zero to six months too that's really big though I guess it's supposed to be to grow into I don't know I can wear it all the way up until they turn six months. I don't know. <laughs> Why would you make something with that large of a variety? That large of a um, difference in sizes. That's a long way. From zero newborn to six months. Uh, well, zero to three months. Okay. Zero to six months. Come on now. Let's put these on her. It might be a little big on her. We shall see. I'll try to make it work. These are the pants that goes with this, right? No, they're not. I don't think this half pants that go to it. I think it's just supposed to be like that. But it's too big. Okay, so I'm going to put these on her. So she won't have saggy bloomers. This one on this foot. Oh, finger. There we go. Oh, <sighs> well, there she is, guys. Sit up right in here. These are short. Let's get her to sit. The legs are fine. That's a good thing, is at least now she has more mobility. This big old thing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's put this on her. Let's comb some hair. Hmm. I just got these rubber bands on here. Let's see if we can get these off. Oh, lordy. Get that beautiful hair. <laughs> Oops. That's your little bang mixed up. 
<laughs> Good there, are so cute, so cute, so cute. So, <sighs> okay, got thrown off when I put that little outfit on her. Zero to six months, and it's huge. Like, okay, more bands they have in her hair. Ah, oh. why? Two. Looks like there's two of them. Okay, so let's get hair turns good and everything. You know, I think I'm probably just going to put her hair back up in a couple of ponytails. Boy, I'm not going to do anything to her. I'm not going to change her eyes or anything like that. I like her eyes. So I'm going to leave her like that. Um, let's see. Do you want to do our hair though? her out some bangs and now let's see hmm. I guess we'll do two ponytails too her hair is really soft These are better to use than Did I tell you my son got that job that he was wanting? Um, so he went for the, the chemistry, the chemist position and the microbiologist position. They were like back-to-back -back interviews. And he actually got the microbiologist position. So pretty excited about that. He wanted to be a scientist when he was, since he was a kid. So now he is. I don't know if I told y'all that or not, but I'm happy for him. He's happy. Well, he was happy that day. <laughs> oh, and he told me. So that's awesome. I'm glad he accomplished and, you know, 
Look, that's kind of cool, though. You want to be something as a child, and you actually get to do that. That's pretty freaking awesome. So I am super proud of him. Is. Oh my goodness, she darling. And I think I'm going to see if I can find some hair bows. I don't like those hair bows. They pull on your hair. Let's see if I have any others in here. That I do like. A lot of those. Well, no. I don't think I... Any more pink? I'll have to get some pink hair bowls from. Oh, I got these before. This will definitely work. Mmm, scissors. I think maybe. This length. There we go. Oops. Oh, yes, it does. Look it down here. I, mean, I totally screwed that up. Okay, let's see. This way. I did it backwards. Don't know how I did that. Put this here. There we go. I like it. Now I'll do the next one. So I had her up and it was really kind of hard to see what I was doing. So I had the bow upside down. Her little poofs. Her little poofs. So here she is, guys. <gasps> there she is. Oh my goodness. There she is. <laughs> it's just darling. I just love this little one. Isn't she darling? See, we made this big old outfit work. Yes, we did. We made this big old out. She is just so cute. I just love this little one. Ooh. So now she's all cuddly too. Isn't she precious? <sighs> okay. Well, it's been fun. But it's time for me to go. Say bye. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I love you guys. Toodles. Peace.